Well, thanks for joining us on board now. Russian ambassador to Belarus says tactical nuclear weapons will be deployed close to Belarus's border or the borders with NATO neighbors amid similar intentions between Russia and the West over Moscow's war in Ukraine. Ambassadors, ambassador Boris Grislov, uh, the comment followed Russian President Vladimir Putin's recent statement about plans to station tactical nuclear weapons on the territory of Russia's neighbor and ally. There is more in this report. It marked another attempt by Russia's leader to dangle the nuclear threat to discourage the West from supporting Ukraine. President Putin says construction of storage facilities for tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus will be complete by the 1st of July, adding that Russia has helped modernize Belarusian warplanes to make them capable of carrying nuclear weapons. Belarus shares borders with Lithuania, Latvia and Poland, all of which are members of NATO, the military alliance originally established to deter Soviet expansion in Europe since the World War II. NATO has increased the number of its troops stationed in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland by nearly tenfold since Russia invaded Ukraine in February last year. Meanwhile, Russia's Wagner Group has claimed legal control of Ukraine's Bakhmut, but Kyiv says its forces still hold the eastern town, describing the fight in there as particularly hot. Head of the paramilitary force, Yevgeny Perogozin, says his troops involved in a month-long effort to encircle and capture the bomb-out town and had raised a Russian flag on its administrative building. Ukrainian military leaders said enemy troops had tried to take control of the town, but their forces had repelled more than 20 enemy attacks. President Volodymyr Zelensky had on Sunday praised Ukrainian troops for defending Malia. In the meantime, a 26-year-old woman, Daya Terapova, has been arrested on suspicion of her involvement in the bombing that left at least 32 people injured in St. Petersburg after she was earlier placed on Interior Ministry's watch list. Russian military bloggers say Tataski was meeting with members of the public when a woman presented him with a box containing a picture of him that blew up at an event in central Petersburg. Russian authorities say they are investigating the attack in the center of Russia's second biggest city as a high-profile murder.